Wait, Paige. Things were about to get interesting when she walked in. Her name was Samantha, and she was beautiful. A regular corpus delecti, with a great pest. Cavity, that is. Something in her socket said beware. Must have been the way they said hello to me. So, sweetheart, you say your husband's been cheating on you with another ghoul? That it? Well, I'll be glad to hear your story. But first, I've got a tawdry tale of my own to tell. It's about a couple of scam artists who want to make a killing, provided they don't kill each other first. I call it Seance. I am eternal flame. In fire, all things begin and all things return. But I am not death, as the uninitiated would have me. I am point of transition. I am breath that transforms. I am life. In this flame, let me witness thine image, Prescott Jalmus my departed servant. In the expression of the sacred Taoist square, do I invoke your image? Satora ripo tene tat para rotas. Satora ripo tene appara rotas. What do you wish to tell us this night? to tell us something, O oh spirit? Jesus Christ in a cardigan sweater. Benny, one lousy line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give the money to my friends, Dorothy. I know the line. The line's not the problem. The deke's the problem. Did what? I ever tell you my nightmare about dying old and broke up? Did I ever tell you that? I even got a name for this place, Monkey Island. Now, that's cute, Monkey Al. Island, I figure, is a place where the loser cons go at the end. Dead-eyed and desperate. Benny. There ain't no life on Monkey Island. And there ain't nobody there to deke either. That's why you hate the place. This isn't Pittsburgh. Remember Pittsburgh, Benny? Huh? The first time you once looked on me, the first time you choked. Somebody got dead in Pittsburgh, Benny. Listen to me. We went out of this life, here it is. After the score, you go your way and I'll go mine. We're a great team, Benny. We deserve to walk away rich. And what we're doing to this lady, we don't deserve to walk away. Madame Leona, are you here? You got spiders in your veins, Al. And you're tangling up my webs, sweetheart. Get inside. Will you quit me? Can you see all right? Yeah, yeah. Madame? <clears throat> yes, I, I'm here. I'll be right with you. She's spent. You're gonna blow the whole deal. Sorry. I slipped. How do I look? You look beautiful. Come in, Mrs. Chalmers, come in. Well, Madame Leone, this is my new valet, Gibbs. Pleasure to meet you, Gibbs. You stand in the horse? Are you not well, Madame Leone? Oh, just a little cold, my dear. Please, sit down and we'll get started. As you may put the briefcase on the table, please. Gee, that poor woman. How did I ever get into this mess? How do I love? Come on, Benny. Tell me you don't miss it with me and you just a little. You want to know what I miss? What? I'll tell you what I miss. The shower after. Come in. Mr. Chalmers. Oh, nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Mr. Polosky, I'm sorry I'm late. But your elevator is broken. Oh, perhaps I should have warned you. I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Chalmers, this is Miss Allison Peters, whom I told you about. Oh. Mr. Pulaski told me there'd be a young lady here. He never told me she was beautiful. That's because he's an honest lawyer. Seems Mr. pulaski has been negligent on both our behalves. He should have told me how handsome my cousin is. <laughs> Please. Yes. About that. 
Frankly, I'm a little confused about my relation to Miss... Miss Peters here. Of course. As I explained to you over the phone, I'm acting as the executor of the estate of your late uncle, Albert Peters. And I've explained to you that the only man I know by that name is my mother's brother, who died while she was a child. Some sort of train accident, I believe. I love trains. Cigarette? No, thank you. Mr. Chalmers, your uncle didn't die in a train accident. He was tried and found guilty of having masterminded the Wilmington Bank robbery of 1901. The Wilmington Bank robbery? $200,000. In its day, the largest payroll heist in state history. He got 20 years. Well, daddy was daddy. I imagine your mother believed it better for you to think of him as dead. That happens in families. Well, after serving his time, your uncle began a new life in Chicago. He uh, started a business, married, and raised a family. Now, last year, your uncle, Allison, Miss Peter's father, died. Now, along with his public will, I found a second document. Details of another investment account. It was opened under an assumed name to be passed on to any or all of Albert Peter's heirs. This is the account's net worth as of last month. A little under three million dollars. My God. Indeed. However, there's a problem. As you'll see on the first sheet, the account was opened a few months before Peters went to prison. The opening balance was $200,000 cash. Oh. The Wilmington Bank money. I'm sure that's how the DA will see it. But as far as I can tell, as long as we can keep the authorities out of this, the two of you could probably claim the money without any trouble. All you'd need would be the account number. Which you have. And what exactly do you want, Mr. Pulaski, for your trouble? Nothing. The probate gives me 10% from the sale of the investments. I don't want any more than that. Albert was a friend. Mr. Pulaski, would you mind if we have a word? Of course not. I'll be outside. That was an interesting story. But I don't believe a word of it. Uh, you and me both, cousin. Although it does explain a few things about Daddy. Oh. Such as? He claimed to be this big World War I hero. But I think the only mustard gas he ever saw was at a hot dog stand at Wrigley Field. Oh. <laughs> I was something of a World War I hero. Mm, you're the cane to prove it. I want to do some checking. Why don't we meet later? To talk? Well, I'm only in town for a few days and I'm staying at the Park Plaza. I don't know where we could meet. Well, then, Miss Peters, why don't we meet there? For the privacy to afford us, of course. Of course. <laughs> How do I look? This is nuts. Why do I gotta take pictures anyway? The deke's flowing. Because if the deke stops flowing, Benny, we whip out the eight by tens and we get them six days from Tuesday. You know what I think? What do you think, Benny? I think you got hot pants. That's why I'm doing this. Oh, yeah? Well, you know what? Why don't you keep the pics to remember me by when I'm in Tangiers and hear him wherever the hell it is you said you were going? Milwaukee. Zip me. Blackmail is what got us into it in Pittsburgh. Says you. You going soft on me is what got us into this. Now get in the closet, Benny, because Cousin Prescott will be here at any minute. I don't want anything soft in this room. Prescott, hi. A rose for a rose. Thank you. How about an eye opener for an eye opener? Whatever you're having.
It's a lovely song. I've never heard it before. Mm, it's one of my favorites. I play it all the time. Did you find what you were looking for this afternoon? Mm, it seems so like Mr. Pulaski is on the level. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> it's a top shelf portfolio. The investment group guarantees a total buyout. There's even a chance I could triple in time. You know, it's a shame that we'd have to sell out now. So why sell it now? Why don't we buy Pulaski out? It's perfect. Give him 300,000, and we hold on tight. Well, that would be $150,000 each. I don't think I can get my hands on that kind of money. How much do you think you can get your hands on? Kissing cousins, aren't we? I shudder at the thought of how many family gatherings we've missed. Shall I? No, darling. I want to see every inch of you. Peters. Morning. Good morning, Mr. Chalmers. I've done all the paperwork, but as I told you over the phone, I'm against your buying me out. I don't think it's a wise business move. We appreciate your concern, Mr. Pulaski, but my cousin and I have made up our minds. Well, I'll just get you to sign the documents. Keep the future clear for you. Is that one of your favorite songs, too, Mr. Pulaski? I've been had a couple of two bit hustlers. Or am I giving you credit for one bit too many? Mr. Chalmers, uh... save it for the bunkers. Never mind, Benny. Show him the pictures. What? Okay. It busted. Feast your eyes on those. All right. Dear God. I hope you have a very understanding wife. Horrific. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> My wife will never see these. Al. Capable of many things, but I doubt murder is one of them. Ow! Oh, no. Please. Help me. Prescott? Uh. Hold on! Right the hell you are. This is all your fault. Three hundred thousand dollars, and you blow the whole deal. What? And I throw you in the goddamn ship. Now get down there, Benny. Get that. You point the gun at me. A man's lying at the bottom of the shaft. You point the goddamn gun at me. Boy, I ought to shoot you in me. Please, don't leave me here. Oh, jeez. You were close, Benny. 
And we're really close on this one. Oh, no. down an elevator shaft. Did you ever hear of a guy dying by falling down an elevator shaft? What a stupid mug. Would you have a little respect for the dead? I do. Very little respect. <laughs> Hello, officers. Ma'am? This is a mistake being here. No, it ain't. We gave them our statements. We're John and Jane straight-up citizens. We smiled politely. We're out of here. And I'm out of here, Al, tonight. I'm on a bus. See you next life. I want to thank you for coming down here, Mrs. Chalmers. I know this is a real difficult time for you, and I appreciate your cooperation. You folks are free to go. Your statement's checked out fine. Officer Kessel's going to see you home, ma'am. Thank you, Detective Ash. Hold that bus, Ash. Mrs. Chalmers. Yes? I'm Allison Peters, and this is Benny Colossi. Oh, yes. You were with my press card. We'd, uh, we'd like to give you this. Give me what? I'm sorry, my dear. I'm blind. Oh, uh, it's his cane. Thank you, my dear. Prescott mentioned you to me something about a long-lost relative. Yes? And I want you both to know that I intend to fulfill all of my husband's earthly obligations. Now, Mrs. Chalmers, that won't be mm, necessary. Excuse me, Mr. Pulaski. Let the lady finish. Yes. As I was saying, I'll have to talk to Prescott and get his approval first. How's that? Well, I, I want to make sure that the business still has my husband's approval. I've made an appointment for tomorrow evening with my spiritual advisor, Madame Leona. Madame Leona, let me hear you say your name again. You are a wicked woman. You wear your wickedness like a cow. You wear your wickedness like a cow. Piece of cake, I can imitate her. Yeah? See if you can imitate a dame with scruples. I pity you both. Madame Chalmers is a sincere woman who has embarked on honorable quest. What you are doing to her is disgusting. Listen to the pot calling the kettle disrespectful name, spiritual advisor. Now, there's a short con if I ever heard one. You do not appreciate the powers you are dealing with. I appreciate that I'm getting tired of you. Al, you ain't got no heart. Benny, I'm not going to hurt her. I'm just going to shut her down. Satora ripotene appara rotas. Satora ripotene appara rotas. Satora ripotene appara rotas. Satora I'm sensing a presence in the room. My departed servant, Prescott Chalmers, I beseech contact. In my flame, let me witness thine image. In the expression of the sacred towers, where do I invoke your spirit? What is it, Gibbs? It... Uh... It looks like Mr. Chalmers, ma'am. Miss God, is, is that you? Yes, of course it is. What about the money, Mr. Chalmers? What do you want Dorothy to do with it? Well... <laughs> Always faithful, I promised I'd be here for you. Miss God, <laughs> is that you? I'm waiting, Mr. Chalmers. Yes, Prescott. What shall we do about Mr. Pulaski and Miss Peters? Shall we give them money? Yes. I want to give it to them personally. Annie? Yes, Annie. Annie. You might call this. Bait and switch. <laughs> 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 
She was right. Her husband was cheating on her with a zombie he'd met on a business trip out to the ghost. In the end, I decided to let Sam handle things her own way. Go ahead. Slay it again, Sam. 